Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Vandal Hearts. It's Zell58, and in this episode, we're heading off to the Rhine Bridge. Now that we got Huxley and Eleni, 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 I'm going to be doing that this entire Let's Play, I'm sure, until somebody corrects me and makes me feel like an idiot. Oh, come on, this bridge seems just safe, Huxley. You need to shut your mouth. Yeah, oh, let's turn back. This bridge doesn't seem safe. Sorry, guys. Oh, we run into more thieves. What a surprise. So, so far we found bandits, golems, riders, and thieves. <laughs> I notice a theme here. So, let's see. Next should be more mythical creatures. Or, no, no, no. It should be villagers. And then mythical creatures, and then we'll have more thieve type people. Uh oh. Oh my god! Yeah, apparently you did. I don't know what you shot with. But, uh, this this map has an interesting like uh. uh Dynamic. There we go. I was trying to think of the right word to use. Every uh, every l turn, the uh, bridge uh, breaks apart by one, so you have to continually move your characters. Um, you might have the impulse when you're first playing this map to move your characters as much as possible. Um, however, we're not going to do that. First, I'm going to look around real quick. I don't think there's any hidden items on this map. But, uh, there might be. I, I don't, I just don't remember. Let's see here. But yeah, I'm, o I'm only going to move my characters up by one because these flying creatures won't be able to reach me. And everyone will still say, stay safe. Yeah, if you throw your characters out front, they'll just get murdered with by the archers and the flying creatures and all that good stuff. But now, we still have the advantage. Hell bats. For grand. At least they don't have random names. Oh my god. If it was a random number anywhere from like one to three, I think it'd make it much more uh, interesting. Yeah, why doesn't she just whip out some golems? Oh, <laughs> so three years to make those crappy golems. Right? Only level eight? That's fine. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna try and there we go. And you're dead. Oh, oh wow. These guys are pretty strong. Alright, let's check out her magic. We have Dark Star. And the magic in this game just it looks funny. It's uh pretty unique. Okay. It I mean it's not all powerful, but it's not that bad either. Cool. Oh level up. Our characters are getting, uh, getting close to advancing soon, which is going to be cool. Uh, which leaves me to, to think, what should I do? Should I... Uh, really? One health? Okay, well, at least he didn't take any... He didn't take the counter. And Huxley can't hit him. Oh, well. This round's going to suck. But yeah, it leaves me to, to think, should I really like branch this Let's Play off into multiple um, versions? I think it'd be fun. I just don't know if that would be entertaining. <laughs> you know, or I make all my characters you know, the way that, you know, the optimal way, the alternate way, and then the hardcore way where I don't even advance them. That'd be interesting in that. Crap! Trying to kill Clint. Yeah, well, you'll notice throughout this game that uh, all the enemies 
tend to focus on like one character and we'll try to kill him. Oh god, hopefully this archer doesn't get a critical. Because I could use Huxley. Oh, thank god. That could have been all sorts of bad. So you especially want to be aware of where your characters are in the map in comparison to their, um, you know, weakness. Alright, so Kira Wolfston just shows up and is like, hey, let's fight together. <laughs> okay, works for me. And now the match will get a little bit easier. Alright, one down. And another level up, cool. Yeah, by the time we reach the end of this chapter, all our characters should be able to uh, advance. So hopefully we can kill two of these guys right here. And that way, it's not really a threat against any of our players. here and yeah we'll kill you and let's see if we can kill an archer too maybe not one shot one shot one shot one shot yeah okay well that would uh, that would explain why there's something to push here let's kill a bat Yeah, I don't think there's any hidden stuff. There won't be anything over there. I don't see anything there. Okay, cool. Yeah, no hidden items in this place. What a fighter. She's an archer. <laughs> I love when that happens. It happens every so often when I play this game, but where Ash says, What a fighter! And then, you know, she completely gets her attack blocked. You know, she's up against flying creatures, so she should be able to just, like, one-shot them, but... No, she's gonna get messed up right here. Yep, she got poisoned. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, they, they should have put her a little bit closer, but I understand why they didn't. Jeez, that bat is a really good on my nerves. They put her any closer to those four guys and she would just get destroyed. But that's cool, after this we'll have two archers, two warriors, a mage and a, and a healer. Gives us a little bit more of a well-rounded team. I love how she just like comes out of nowhere. Yeah, let's heal up, because even if she kills the bat, she wouldn't survive. And then, with my luck, that bat would block again. Let's see, this might be a little risky. Hopefully we can kill this archer. And maybe another dude. Boy, Clint needs some healing. So yeah, if your characters end up being on the part of the bridge that gets destroyed, they die. So you don't want them there. But, uh, just gotta keep that in mind. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's so annoying when that stuff happens. In fact, I think there's a couple enemies that... Uh, We'll do that automatically unless you hit them from the back. Yeah, there are. They're like juggernauts or something like that. But we won't we won't see them anytime soon. Probably be a few weeks until you see them, especially at the pace that I'm going. Oh cool, we got Ice Storm, which is, yeah, just a spell that only has one. You can only attack in front, to the side, to the back, or yeah. It's not that good of a of a spell. 
They just use that if you don't want to get countered. Go there. No. Oh, Christ. If they get another hit on him, he's in trouble. I don't think they can reach him. I love how Huxley looks like he's about to like try to stab some guy's eyes out with his hand. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working to my advantage. Jeez. That was annoying. I hate when all my stuff gets blocked. Oh, you, you really think you can? No way. Oh, dang! One-shotting these guys? Clint's a beast. Usually I don't really like Clint, but in this Let's Play, like, he's cool. I have to say my favorite character is probably Diego. Maybe Darius later on, but uh, Diego has the most personality. Which, which, with all these characters, they have like the personality of bricks. The story isn't that great. <laughs> but, you know, like we were saying in the comments of earlier episodes, the music's good. You know, the, uh, the gameplay's fun. Yeah, you just don't play this game for the story. You play for the fun strategy. If you've played the crap out of Final Fantasy Tactics and, you know, other tactical games and want something different, give this one a shot. Don't get Flames of Judgment on, uh, on the PlayStation Network or, um... Yeah, we'll heal him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll heal him. On the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live Arcade, it's not as good. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play on that at some point, just so you can see. Um, get a good idea of why I say that stuff. Sweet. Alright, and there we go. There's the map. No one dead? I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to lower the casualties, which so far in this game have been pretty good. Uh, except for, what, Clint in the beginning. I don't think uh, anyone else has died. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, shut up, Diego. Um, we don't really need you as a bodyguard. I just think it would have been cool to have, like, a hybrid character that's, like, half archer, like, half warrior or something like that. Doesn't really matter what you say, she's still gonna join your party. Which is cool. Archers are, are one of the best classes in the game because they have that, that reach. If we didn't have to have a Sky Knight in order to make the Validator, or the Vandalier class, I would say make all your archers just archers. Although I do like Sky Knights. I just, I love the distance. They have good attack. It's just, if you're up against an archer, you're just screwed. Oh, we get more pointless storyline. I love how Eleni looks like she's like 82 when she walks around. She does not act like a, a teenager. Could she with that crappy music playing? Ah, uh, well, here's the bonding moment. Both their fathers could be traitors. Ah, oh, well, at least she grew up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, God. 
This this story is so boring to me. Interesting. Maybe she killed everyone. Maybe she turns into like a giant beast and slaughters people. That would be more interesting. Revolution! Yeah, it's all your fault. Ha uh ha. -huh. I just think, I think this storyline would have been better with like a flashback or something. It's just something awkward about this story. It's like, yeah, I, I think it, 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 it doesn't have like any like fluff, it just gets too to the point. I, I don't know, I, I don't think I'm articulating myself or explaining myself, but it doesn't matter because we're at the end of the episode. Next episode, we're going to continue on to the storyline uh, and hopefully get a ship. Until then, this is Cell58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.